your hands on the hips. Actually, uh, la down the arm, down the arms, and then we're gonna just uh, warm up with the shoulders and the neck. So looking down towards the floor, looking up towards the ceiling, look straight ahead, look towards your right and your left, look straight ahead, try to touch the ear towards the shoulder without raising the shoulder and the other side and come back to the center we're going to do it one more time looking down towards the floor looking up towards the ceiling straight ahead look towards your right and the left straight ahead ear towards the shoulder and the other side and then looking straight ahead we're going to start making circles with the shoulders bringing the shoulders up to your ear and dropping them towards the ear and dropping them back And the other way around so from the from the back you're bringing them forward and then bring your arm up towards the ceiling and back up towards the ceiling and back and the other way around so today we're gonna work on the glutes okay and if you had any problems with the lower back of the hips take it easy today uh, although we're focusing on the glutes, there's gonna be we're gonna do the other arm first from the top and then back. If you've had any problems with the hips or the lower back, just take it easy. Although we're focusing on the glutes, the other way around, it still can affect the hips and the lower back. That's why I'm saying just be careful, okay? Okay, and then hands on the hips, start making circles with the hips. Just make sure your knees are soft. And then the other side, start with small circles and then go wide, go bigger and bigger with the circle. And then come down, bend the knees slightly, hands inside the knees and start rubbing the inside of the knee, the top of the knee, the sides of the knee and the back of the knees. And then place your hands in front and on top of the thighs and then start making circles with the knees one direction and then the other. And then come back up, hands on the hips, stretch the right toes, and then start creating circles, one direction, focus on the ankle, and then the other side. And then the other side, so stretch the toes first, and then you start making circles first. and the other side. Okay, so um, we're coming to the top of the mat and uh, obviously start working with the breath. So we're gonna come into Tadasana or Mountain Pose first. We're gonna have the feet together Big toes are touching and, and then first we're starting with one hand on the chest and the other one on just below the belly button. And then as you're doing this, balance the weight so that you're in the middle of the, mat, of the feet, pull the kneecaps up, tuck the pelvis under, suck the belly in, open the chest, tuck the chin under. As you're staying here, keeping everything very active, you start working with the breath. So you're starting to breathe through the nose only and you're starting to lengthen the breath. So it's the same length on the inhale as it is on the exhale. So when you're inhaling, you're try trying to puff up the hand that is just below the belly button. And when you're exhaling, you're trying to bring that belly button towards the spine. So inhaling one, two, three, four, five, puff the belly. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, belly button towards the spine. Two more, inhale, one, 
two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then now just place your hands in front of your chest, close your eyes, set an intention for today's practice that you're going to try to do your best to focus your mind on the breath. Every time you catch yourself wandering off, just bring it back to the breath and just pay attention to the posture so you're trying to do almost like a talking meditation and a meditation in movement. Okay, so we're going to start with the chair pose. First of all, look at me. When you're doing the chair pose, you're imagining that there's a chair just a foot behind your, the back of your feet and you're sitting back on the, on the chair. So if we do it together so that you get the sensation, if you're doing a normal squat, you tend to basically sit down and the knees are over the ankles. When you're doing this position, if everybody does it, you should feel that the weight, the basically the strain is on the front of the thigh and on the front of the shins, but there's actually none in the glutes, okay? So come back up and now try to sit down back. So basically the knees at the most just go over the toes, but they never go over the toes, okay? As you're sitting back, can you feel that a lot of it is on the glutes, okay? And then when you're here, you're tilting your pelvis under and then you're really squeezing the glutes. So this is the way you want to do it, okay? So place your hands in front of your chest, feet together, knees together. Imagine you're sitting in that imaginary chair a foot behind you and you're sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, squatting down as much as you want, squeezing the knees together. When you're in position, then you're starting to put, basically squeeze the knees, tilt your pelvis under, chest forward, hands on the uh, in front of your chest, otherwise you can bring them up towards the ceiling. Three, two, squeeze that glutes, and one, and you're coming all the way up, hands on the hips, give yourself a bit of a shake. So to give it a little bit of change between one chair pose and the other, we're gonna do warrior three. So this is a balancing pose. You might need a block if you want it in front of the mat, if need be. Otherwise, that's when you put the chair in front of the mat to support yourself, okay? So, you're placing all your weight onto the left foot, tiptoes of the right, and then you start bringing your hands forward and you're starting to tilt forward so that you're starting to bring that right leg up towards the ceiling. Three, Otherwise, you just support yourself with the block or you're placing your hands on the chair, making sure you're kicking that right leg up towards the ceiling. One more here. And then inhale, you're starting to bend the right knee and bringing the right leg down towards the floor. Give yourself a bit of a shake. Okay, now we're gonna do the chair pose, the second one. This, this time we're going to have the feet hip width apart and you want to imagine if somebody is basically trying to push your knees together and you're resisting that, so you're pushing the knees out, that activates this area but also the gluteus medius, okay? So feet hip width apart, the hands are forward, you're squatting back, when you get to the position start pushing the knees out looking down towards the floor tilting the pelvis under pushing the knees out one more breath here in into the count of five exhale into the count of five on the next inhale come all the way up hands on the hips give yourself a bit of a shake We're gonna do the warrior three in the other position, okay? So if you needed the block, make sure you're placing it somewhere where you can reach it. And then you're placing all the weight onto the right leg. Step your left foot out a little bit. And as you're starting to fold forward, bring your arms forward, bring that left leg up towards the ceiling. 
and you're pointing the toes down towards the floor. Three, suck the belly in. Two, make sure you're squeezing that left glute. And one, start bending the standing leg, bringing the left leg down towards the floor, giving yourself a little bit of a shake. One more pause here before we go on the fours. This time we're gonna do the stand, the chair, one-legged chair, okay? So you're bending the left knee, you're bending the left leg, and you're starting to try to bring your right foot on top of the left knee with the leg out to the side. And then you're flexing that right foot so that knee is safe. Hands in front of your chest, sit back. Three, two, and one. Start coming up, release the right leg, and straighten the left. We're gonna do it on the other side. We're gonna do it on the side so you can see it from the side. Standing on the right leg, start bending the right leg. You're placing the left foot on top of the right knee, bringing the left knee out. Flexing the left foot, hands on the hips, sit back, chest forward. Three, suck the belly in, two, and one, come all the way up. Release the left leg and come to the top of the mat. Okay. Feet together. On the next inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, look up at the hands, exhale, you're folding forward at the hips, place your hands on the shin, the ankle or the mat. On the next inhale, press through the hands, look forward, lengthen the spine, exhale, bend the knees, hands on the mat, step the right leg out into a lunge, left leg to meet it into a high plank. On the next inhale, set the plank, you're pushing the heels away from you, pull the kneecaps up, squeeze the glutes, suck the belly in, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, knees to the floor, leading with the chest, you're bringing your chest down to the floor, top of the feet on the mat. On the next inhale, lift the chest off the floor, roll the shoulders away from you, elbows are bent. Exhale, tuck your toes under, come into your hands and knees. Bring the seat towards your heels and you're coming up into a downward dog. We're just gonna do this one. So you can walk on the spot if you're feeling that your hamstrings are quite tight. And then you can bring your feet forward slightly so you're trying to bring the heels down towards the floor. Your choice here if you want to walk on the spot, stretching the hamstring for a couple of breaths. And then on the next inhale, come into a plank. So you're coming on your tiptoes and you're bringing the shoulders just above the wrist. We're staying here for three, two, and one. And then we're gonna start lowering ourselves down. So to the count of five, you can bring the knees down if you want to. We're gonna lower gently ourselves down onto the floor. Once you're on the floor, Shuffle your body so the whole of the body is on the mat. Bring the arms along the body, forward onto the floor. On the next inhale, lift the chest off the floor, arms off the floor, legs off the floor. You're looking just beyond the, big, the, the mat, squeezing the glutes. Three, two, and one and release it make a pillow with your hands turn your head to the right rock your hips from side to side come back to the center we're going to do it one more time so this time you can bring your hands interlaced behind your back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, forehead press down onto the floor, inner chest off the floor, hands away from the body, legs off the floor. Three, squeeze that glutes. Two, and one. Release yourself. 
make a pillow with your hands, turn your head to the left, rock your hips from side to side. And then on the next inhale, bring your hands just underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, come into your hands and knees and you're coming into child pose. Okay, and then now you're coming up on your fours. We're going to do quite a lot of exercise, quite a few exercises on our fours. So you might want to have a pillow underneath your knees if you feel like you need the extra support. Or you can get a towel, something like that, where you're getting the knees. Oh, my cat. Okay, done. Um, okay, so coming on your fours. I thought she was going to knock down every device that there is in there. Okay, so... First of all, on the fours, we're gonna lift the right leg off the floor. You're bending the leg at the knee so that the foot is pointing up towards the ceiling, okay? And then now make sure that the arms are straight so you're not bending any of them and sucking the belly in on the inhale. On the exhale, you start pushing the foot up. So you're lifting the thigh up towards the ceiling. Flexing the foot so the foot is still almost like if you're trying to stand on the ceiling. Three, two, and one. And release the right leg down towards the floor. Shift the weight onto the right leg. Lift the left leg off the floor. The thigh is parallel to the floor. The leg is bent. The, toe, the sole of the foot is pointing towards the ceiling. And then on the next inhale, suck the belly in and try to lift that thigh off the floor, bringing that foot closer to the ceiling. You should feel a squeeze onto the lower back and also on the glutes. Three, two, and one. Release. Come down into child pose for a second. and come back onto your fours. This time, we're gonna bring the leg out, okay? So the right leg comes out to the side. Three, two, and one. Now extend the leg. Three, two, and one. Bend the leg, replace the, the leg down towards the floor. We're going to do it on the other side. I have to turn, otherwise I'm going to kick the wardrobe. Okay, position yourself so the hands are directly underneath the shoulders, the knees are directly underneath the hips, and then you're lifting that left leg off the floor. So the leg comes out to the side, the leg is bent. Suck the belly in. Three, two, and one. And now you're extending the leg. Three, two and one bend the leg bring the left knee down towards the floor come back into child pose pour it down to the floor and then come back on your fours you're lifting the right hand off the floor so that the arm is parallel to the floor. And then shifting the weight slightly onto the right leg, you're lifting the left foot off the floor so that the, the leg is parallel to the floor. Three, two, one. On the next inhale, bring the knee towards the nose, the arm come to the side, inhale, come back out. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, come back out. Point the toes down. And then if you want, you can grab hold with your right hand of the left ankle 
and keep the leg out, looking forward. Otherwise, just keep your leg off the floor, arm off the floor. And then on the next inhale, release, bring the right hand down, left, left, left knee down. Resettle yourself, make sure you're coming back into a neutral position of four. And then you're lifting the left arm off the floor, shift the weight onto the left leg, right leg off the floor. Looking down towards the mat, suck the belly in, you're feeling the squeeze onto the right glute. Three, two, and one. Exhale, knee to nose, arm just by the side, inhale, come back out. Exhale, knee to nose, inhale, come back out. And now if you want to, you can grab hold, bending the knee of the left ankle, of the right ankle, kicking that leg out, looking forward. Three, two, and one. Release the hands down. Come into your child pose. And then now you're coming into the hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, push the hips up. And you're lifting your right leg off the floor. And then you're trying to bring the right, so start moving the right hand out to the side. And now you're bringing the right knee towards the chest and you're trying to bring the right foot on the inside of the right uh, hand, okay? Now, bring that right hand in, push the right knee, the right foot out, so the hands are directly underneath the shoulders, and the knee, the right knee is touching the right shoulder. Squeezing the right left glute, you're pushing the left leg off the floor. Three, two and one on the next inhale come back into a downward dog walking your feet on the spot and then keep your hands shoulder width apart lift the left leg off the floor and on the exhale start bringing the left knee towards the chest and then you're bringing the left foot on the outside of the left hand. You're on the tiptoes of the right foot. Now you're pushing the heel away from you and you're hugging the left shoulder to the left knee, looking down towards the floor. Three, two, and one. On the next inhale, start coming back into a downward dog, coming to your hands and knees. Sitting down onto the child pose. And then start walking the hands towards the body. Once you're sitting on your heels, move the bum either side of the feet so that you can sit with the legs forward. Straight in front of you. Remove the flesh away from your buttock. Remove anything that you needed to get rid of. Point the toes up towards the ceiling. If you need a block underneath your bum, use the block. Hands either side of the bum. Toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Working on the core muscle and working on keeping your body upright. So start squeezing the bum hole. Suck the belly in. Open the chest. Tuck the chin under looking beyond your toes, bending the elbows slightly and sort of pointing the elbows away from you, so from the back of you, so that, and gently bending them so you're not bringing the shoulders up towards the, towards, towards the ears. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, suck the belly in. On the exhale, you're bending forward at the hips, folding forward, 
we're focusing on stretching the hamstring. Whenever you feel like your lower abdominals are starting to go, rest the hands wherever they're comfortable on the legs. Tuck your chin under, point the toes up, and then on the next inhale, suck the belly in, pulling on your hands. You're actively trying to bring the torso towards the thighs. In and into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, come all the way up. Place your hands a hand breath away from the bottom with the fingers pointing towards the toes. So we're gonna do an upward plank, okay? So the easier version is to bend the knees, placing the feet down onto the floor and then pushing the hips up, obviously focusing on squeezing the glutes. You can either look down towards your knees or looking up towards the ceiling. If you want a little bit more advanced version, you're keeping your legs straight, pointing the toes away from you. As you're lifting the hips off the floor, you're trying to bring the toes down towards the floor, looking down towards the toes if you're having any problem with your neck, looking up towards the ceiling or releasing the head. Push the hips up. Three, two, and one. Release yourself down onto the floor. Hug the knees to the chest. Come to the middle of the mat. And you're now placing your hands in front of the knees. Now make sure you've got a block that you can get hold of if you want to because we're gonna try to put it in between the knees as we're gonna do the bridge. So, release yourself down onto the floor, hugging the knees to the chest, and chin to chest as well, so your neck is nice and long. Stay here for a breath or two, releasing the lower back, and also as you're hugging very strongly the knees towards your chest, you're also releasing the front of your hips. And then very gently start bringing your feet hip width apart in front of your uh, hips. So you basically should be able to touch some part of the feet as you're in this position. Now also what you can do, you can grab hold of a block and place it in between the knees. It doesn't really matter as long as you can keep your knees together because then that really works on the glutes, okay? So press your hands down onto the floor and then on the next inhale tilt your pelvis under. So you're basically tilting the pelvis, trying to bring the pelvis towards the belly button so that the bum is already lifted off the floor. Suck the belly in and push the hips up towards the ceiling. Make sure the knees are pointing away from you, they're not coming out to the side and they are in line with each other. You can also shuffle to the top of your shoulders, interlacing the fingers behind your back, keeping your arms straight. Really feel the squeeze on the glutes. Three, two, and one. Release the hands, release the back down towards the floor. Hug the knees to the chest. Rotate the knees clockwise so you're giving yourself a massage in one direction. And then we're going to do it one more time. So hug the knee, uh, bring the knees, the feet in front of your hips, hip width apart, big toes are slightly tucked in, pressing the hands down towards the floor, chin to chest. And then on the next inhale, tilt your pelvis under, suck the belly in, push the hips up. If you want, you can use the block in between your knees to squeeze the knees together. And then interlace the fingers behind your back, shuffle to the top of your shoulder, push the hips up, really concentrating on squeezing the glutes. Three, two, and one, release the hands, 
release the back down towards the floor, hug the knees to the chest, rotate the knees counterclockwise this time. Okay, so now we're gonna try the bridge with one leg, okay? So you're bringing the, the feet as close as you can towards the hips, putting all the weight onto the left leg. As you're pushing your hips up, you're lifting that right leg off the floor. Push the hips up and release it. Come down onto the floor. We're gonna do it on the other side. So you're putting all the weight onto the right leg now. So as you're coming up, you're shifting the weight onto the right leg slightly so you can lift the left leg off the floor. Three, two, push the hips up. And one, release yourself back down. Hug the knees to the chest. Okay, so the next two are stretching ones. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring, the, you're, you're hugging the right leg towards the floor, to, uh, towards the chest, and you're releasing the left leg down onto the floor, okay? And then keeping the leg bent, the right leg bent, you're hugging, you're grabbing the back of the thigh with your hands, and from here, you're stretching the leg up. Try to point the toes down towards you. Chin to chest so the neck is nice and long. The aim is to have the leg straight at a 90 degree angle. So if you can't, just grab it wherever you can and try to sort of bring to the point where you're sort of trying to have it as straight as you can. And now on the next inhale, point the toes up towards the ceiling, lift the head off the floor. And then on the exhale, you're releasing the head down onto the mat, point the toes towards your body. On the next inhale, point the toes up towards the ceiling, lift the head off the floor. And exhale, release the head, point the toes towards you. One more, point the toes up, lift the head up, and release the head, point the toes towards you. And then bend the knee towards your chest and release the leg down onto the floor, swapping the legs over. So you're hugging the left knee towards your chest. And then grab hold of the back of the thigh and straighten the leg as much as you can, trying to point the toes towards you tucking the chin to the chest so your neck is nice and long. And then on the next inhale, point the toes up towards the ceiling, lift the head off the floor, exhale, release the head onto the mat, point the toes towards you. Inhale, point the toes up towards the ceiling, lift the head up, Exhale, release the head down, point the toes towards you. And last one, inhale, point the toes up, lift the head up. And exhale, release the head down, point the toes towards you. And then bend the knee towards your chest and release it. Now bend the knee so that the feet are on the floor. You're placing the right leg the right foot over the left knee, bringing the leg out. And now your choice here, you're either placing your right hand on top of the right knee, pushing the knee out to the side, feeling the stretch into the glutes and also onto the sides of the right leg. If you want a bit more of a stretch, making sure you're tucking the chin to the chest, the head remains onto the mat, you're hugging, the left thigh towards the chest, grabbing hold of the back of the thigh, feeling the stretch onto the sides of the leg and onto the right glute. And 
somehow very gently released the left leg down onto the floor and swap the legs over. So you're placing the right foot onto the floor, left foot on top of the right knee, opening the leg out to the side with your left hand, you're pushing onto the left knee, opening up that hip, but also feeling the stretch on the glute. If you want an extra stretch, you grab hold of the back of the thigh, hugging the right uh, thigh towards the chest, tucking the chin under so your neck is nice and long, the head is not off the floor, is relaxing onto the mat. And then very gently start releasing the leg down, release the, the legs and hug the knees to the chest. And then if you want, you can start rocking back and forward until you're coming up into a seated position onto the mat. We're just gonna do the last one, which is the uh, bound angle. Pulse. So, so basically you're placing your feet together, grabbing hold of the soles of the feet with the thumbs, the rest of the fingers are on the top of the foot. You're trying to bring the feet as close as you can towards the thigh, the, towards the groin, and then you're opening the knees out to the side. And then when you're ready, you start pushing the hips forward, sucking the belly in, opening the chest, tucking the chin under. So you're really focusing on keeping the whole of the core muscles engaged, feeling that stretch onto the sides of the glutes and onto the hips. And then if you want to go a little bit further, as you're keeping the chest and the core muscle engaged, you can fold forward slightly, tucking the chin to the chest, increasing the stretch. And very gently come all the way up. Bring the legs together and we're going to finish here.